screens on. Martin, thanks for joining us. Not the result you wanted, but in terms of that performance, you really put them under pressure for long periods and probably come away wondering how you've, you're out of the cup. Yeah, we, did, uh, we didn't play as bad as what 3-0 would suggest. Um, I think at one point they had three shots and scored three goals. We had, well, we just dominated the game. Mate, more often, we've been played in there, third of the field. But I've got to say, we lack that quality um, in the final third to open them up and bring something back. You, Disappointing, yeah. You piled on the pressure from set pieces and Sam Muggleton's long throw, which we all know is a real threat. Was that the game plan? Because it certainly seemed to work. Yeah, well, coming here, it, um, you know, I had um, some info, you know, I found out that they were not the best on defending set plays. We don't want to be disrespectful. But, um, and as we could see, we had numerous chances off headers from corners and from long throws. But, um, they just went wide, the goalkeeper made a good save, another one got blocked on the line. And, um, so yes, it was the game plan to keep the pitch solid, keep the shape of the team so that we wouldn't get broken down easy. And then off the free kick, it's the bar and bounces straight to their, def uh, their attacking player. And um, that's disappointing to be fair from a defensive point of view of that free kick. We should be first to that ball. But then uh, in, uh, offensively, I, I don't really think we created a great deal from open play which I've got to say is a disappointment. Certainly, after going 2-0 down, sides can fold, but you kept going, you piled on the pressure still. That must have been pleasing. Yeah, well, we know these players do that. Um, I think the Exeter game a few weeks ago, would, uh, you know, you'd have to say that that was a, uh, a very disappointing afternoon and a very disappointing performance, more to the point. Whereas, at least here, they had a go right to the end. We hit the post again in the 85th minute or 89th minute. But they all kept going. They all have a go, they're all bitterly disappointed of course because you know, I've got to say me more than anybody, I wanted a cup run. I wanted that third round Premier League club, I wanted to uh, to bring that back for the fans and I wanted our players, our players to experience that third, fourth round and get a real buzz going around the club. So I am bitterly disappointed. But I've got to say, I think all the players had a go today. They have had a go and... Um, We'll, 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 uh, I've got a couple of little knocks again, and uh, I'll have to pick a team uh, for Tuesday night in the uh, in that cup game. Um, but I've also got a very we've also got a very important game now next week against Grimsby. Elliot Johnson came back into the team. Obviously, came off at half time. How's he doing? And how pleasing is it to have him back after an extended period? Yeah, he's trained for three days now, Elliot. And um, you know, with all due respect, if it was uh, if it had been level at half time. 1-0 down but 2-0 he, he's still not 100% right but he's such a good player we need him in our team so now we'll rest him till next Thursday in a work with Luigi and with James Russell to get him fit uh, or fitter um, it's, it's great to have him back he's a really good player he's probably not as ready as he should be but we needed him today and um, you know, I don't regret taking that chance with him uh, came at half time, he said it's still a bit sore, so it was a quick game off. Another one who came back into the team, Jamie Stevens, made a couple of really smart saves, looked like he'd never been away. Yeah, I'm really, really pleased for Jamie. He's worked so hard, he's been desperate to get back into the team. And um, I don't think he'll mind me saying that when he did get back in or has got back in, he perhaps hasn't been up at his best. Today, I thought he was back to his best. He made two saves in the second half there that I thought were quite brilliant when we were pushing to try and get back into the game. We're just playing three at the back. And um, that was more like the Jamie Stevens that I know. It's more like the Jamie Stevens that won us so many games last year. And um, that is a real positive and a big, big boost for all of us from Barnet uh, on today's um, disappointing day out. Brilliant. Thank you very much, Martin.